30 is literally knocking at my door like <laughs> one of the things i want to be able to say by age 30 is that i have financial stability amen so if 30 is knocking at your door like it is a mine and you want to level up before age 30 then this video is definitely for you hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here if this is your first time seeing my face my name is Naku Alute and you're most welcome to my channel if you do enjoy this video kindly do well to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up to my returning viewers and subscribers thank you so much for coming back so as you can see from the title of this video in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys ways to level up before you hit 30 or ways to level up before your 30s so 30 is literally knocking at my door like <laughs> yeah 30 is literally knocking at my door and um personally there are certain things i would want to achieve by age 30 and in order for me to accomplish these these goals or these like things that i want to achieve before 30 i need to put in place certain measures that will aid me achieve these goals so basically in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys ways to level up before age 30 so these are things that i'm currently doing um some of which i intend to do or i plan to do in order to level up before i hit 30. so if 30 is knocking at your door like it is a mine and you want to level up before age 30 then this video is definitely for you stay can stay till the end of this video and let's level up together you know all right guys so let's get straight into the point if you see me constantly looking down it's because i have the list on my phone so pardon me so the very first one i have here is get your priorities right guys i know in your 20s in our 20s we are somewhat experimenting like we don't know what will work for us we don't know which um like we are not certain about a lot of things so we tend to experiment in our 20s but then i believe um our early 20s are sort of for experimenting like going with the flow because you are sort of trying out everything to figure out your life to know what will work for you i also believe that in your late 20s that is not the time to go with the flow like if you are all about going with the flow in your late 20s and you really don't like know where you are headed yeah we all don't have it all figured out but then i believe in your late 20s you should sort of have an idea of where you're going you should sort of have an idea of how you want your life to be like in the next year in the next two years so if you're in your late 20s and you are still all about i'm going with the flow like it's about time to get your priorities right know what to invest your time in know what to um, invest your energy on know where to invest your efforts like this is not the time to be experimenting this is not the time to be playing around by so doing you'll be somewhat closer to what you've set for yourself or the goals you have for yourself um, by age 30 so the next point i have here is be disciplined just as achieving any other thing in this world requires discipline so that's leveling up before your 30s like i really can't find a better way of explaining this like i don't know what in this world doesn't require discipline like without discipline all the other points that i'll be listing or mentioning will be a total waste so bottom line you need to be disciplined so yeah basically if you know where you are headed if you know your goal if you know what you want to to achieve by age 30 then stay disciplined like put in all the efforts you need in order to to guide yourself towards achieving all your goals by age 30 this is the time to be intentional this is the time to be intentional about every move that you make like be disciplined don't lose focus so yeah that's one of the ways of leveling up before age 30. i know it's easier said than done like it's way easy to say it's compared to actually doing it like staying disciplined it's not easy but then i believe it's a mindset so if you put your mind to it you would be able to do it um always look at the bigger picture like this is what i want and this is what i need to do in order to get there so stay disciplined <laughs> 
the next point I have is networking slash keeping the right company so I have put two points together because they are sort of related so networking uh, basically meeting the right people or getting to know the right people who would aid you in achieving whatever you want to achieve by age 30 not necessarily the people like offering you what you want but then some way somehow they would contribute to you achieving your goals set for yourself by age 30 so um it sort of relates to keeping the right company so keeping the right kind of people around you keeping people who would actually motivate you encourage you towards becoming who you want to be keeping people who would give you the right energy the right vibes like keeping the right people around you because you don't need any negative vibes you don't need any bad vibes all you need is positive vibes towards um, achieving whatever you want to achieve by age 30. keeping people who are very real with you keeping people who are not scared to point it out to you when you like you are going off the road people who are not scared to point it out to you when you like when you are doing something wrong and bear in mind networking or keeping the right company doesn't necessarily mean you need to keep a lot of people around you a few good ones are enough like and sometimes a smaller circle is way better so know who to keep around you know the kind of people to keep around you like people who add value to you people who contribute motivate encourage you towards becoming a better person with that being said these same people can be people who criticize you because they want to see you do better people who criticize you when needed and then motivate you or um, applaud you when needed these are the kind of people you need around you these are the kind of people to help you level up so keep the right company it's very 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 important the next point i have here is sort out your living space so even if it's a small bedroom even if it's like a studio apartment even if it's like a huge house make sure you sort out your living space make sure your space reflects you make sure your space is clean calm and relaxing enough in order for you to be productive i don't know if this happens to to some of you but then as creatives as content creators sometimes our space doesn't even motivate us to create like to create content i quite remember um before i started doing a few like renovations in this room i was really not pleased with the way this room was looking and so I was not motivated to create like I don't know if you guys understand but sometimes the environment in which you find yourself sort of motivates you or pushes you to do certain things so if you find yourself in a space where the space itself depresses you the space itself doesn't make you feel confident the space doesn't reflect you how can you be productive so yes if it's about making a few changes in your living area making a few changes in your bedroom in your kitchen wherever make sure you do that if that is what is going to make you feel calm in order to level up in order to think straight to make certain life-changing decisions then girl switch up that room now renovate that room now because you have no idea how the space in which you find yourself actually pushes you to do stuff you have no idea how if you're not comfortable in a space it sort of hinders you like it hinders a lot of things it hinders you thinking positively it hinders a whole lot of things it makes you feel depressed so one way to level up before age 30 is to sort out your living space i really can't stress this enough but this would go a long way in helping you to level up and the next point i have here is planning or being organized when it comes to planning and being organized let's say you have a couple of goals you want to achieve by age 30 put down these goals give yourself a notebook a notepad and list all your goals down break them down into monthly goals and further break them down into weekly goals get yourself a to-do list either on a daily basis or on a weekly basis and make sure you try as much as possible 
to accomplish everything you have on your to-do list this way you hold yourself accountable so if for instance you've listed like five things on your to-do list um, for the day at the end of the day you can refer to your to-do list and take off the ones you've been able to accomplish if for any reasons you were unable to accomplish any one of them you can always carry it forward and make sure you accomplish it the next day or the next week like hold yourself accountable be accountable for your own progress be accountable for your own good and if you are the kind of person who sort of makes excuses or tries to find excuses for not being able to accomplish um, items on your to-do list if you feel you can't hold yourself accountable enough then get yourself an accountability partner an accountability partner could be your boyfriend your husband your girlfriend your wife your best friend your friend your colleague at work but then it has to be someone who actually pushes you to do your best like someone who is like down for you not someone who doesn't really care about your progress so then there's no point like the person can't be an accountability partner so it has to be someone who is really down for you someone who would make sure you you achieve all the things you have set out to achieve so yeah if you feel you can't hold yourself accountable for your own progress then get yourself an accountable partner so yeah one of the ways of leveling up before age 30 is to plan and be organized like they say if you fail to plan you plan to fail so if you are not planning towards accomplishing all that you have set for yourself by age 30 then really you are planning to fail so make sure you plan and organize everything that you do the next point i have here is get your finances together like who doesn't like money like personally one of the things i want to be able to say by age 30 is that i have financial stability amen so yeah get your finances together like find ways of making money find ways of making money actually legit ways of making money please legit ways of making money and cultivate the habit of saving so yeah if you have a nine to five job and you feel the money you are making is not enough for you to save as much as you would want to then get yourself a side hustle like everyone is thinking smart these days so just i don't know sit down think about things that you love to do turn your hobby into a side hustle like that's the easiest way to get yourself a side hustle to be honest so yes get yourself a side hustle if you feel your nine to five job is not enough for you to like it's not making you enough money or it's not enough for you to save as much as you would want to get yourself a side hustle and cultivate the habit of saving because like i said earlier on by age 30 i would want to say i am i am somewhat financially stable if you are with me then this is the time to cut all the excuses and level up with me so the next point i have here is keep yourself inspired so we live in a world where things could probably demotivate you but you as a person can consciously do things that will keep you inspired things like following people who inspire you on social media so probably there's someone in like his or her 30s who is like doing well who is thriving at whatever he or she is doing and that is where you see yourself in the next couple of years following someone like that would sort of inspire you and then make you know that i can also do this personally listening to or reading people's like stories motivational stories probably how they went from from nothing to where they are now inspires me a lot and that's one way i keep myself inspired and i believe if you do so too it would inspire you and then it'll make you know that it's definitely achievable like it's something that you can you can also do provided you you work towards it another one is listening to podcasts so if there's like a particular podcast where they share information on how to like information relating to what we are talking about now information on how to level up information on how to 
to grow as a person information on how to be the better version of yourself then obviously that is one thing i would also listen to so consciously indulge yourself in things that would inspire you that way you would level up okay the next point i have here is invest in yourself i believe this is self-explanatory but if it's about taking that course in order to get to the next level of your job then take that courses if it's about getting a new equipment to make sure your videos are on point then get that equipment if it's about like trust me if you don't invest in yourself no one is going to invest in you let's say you are searching for a job and the job's requirements is blah 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 this that's that and you don't have that there's no way they would employ you so until you invest in yourself and get that additional requirement you are not getting that job that company is not ready to invest in you until you have invested in yourself no one will be willing to invest in you so yeah until you have invested in that equipment to make sure your videos are on point no brand is going to invest in you so first of all invest in yourself master your craft be good at whatever you are doing and you would see progress and see results from whatever it is that you are doing on that note if you're a youtuber and you don't get views for your videos this is the time to invest in yourself i've put together a video optimization class where i'll be teaching you the tricks and tips on how to optimize your videos in order for your videos to get more views and also for your videos to rank when searched on youtube trust me once you are able to optimize your videos it would eventually lead to an increase in your subscribers so the first thing to think about is how to optimize your videos and that would help you to grow your channel hence this is the time to invest in yourself this is the time to invest in your craft so i'm going to put the flyer here just hit me up and i'll put you on that class okay guys so these are some of the things i'm currently doing or plan to do in order to level up before my 30s if you have any other points or any other ways to level up before our 30s do well to leave them in the comment section below let's just share together and if you are already trying out any of the points that i have mentioned let me know in the comment section below if you are not trying some of them too and you intend to try them out let me know as well and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful don't forget to share with your friends in order for all of us to level up before age 30. okay guys so i'm going to see you in my next video and don't forget to subscribe i know some of you are not yet subscribed so kindly do so now i'd really appreciate it and i'll see you in my next video